number 2 and a flat plate is connected to a gusset plate. So, this problem is different from our previous problem. In that model we have found the design strength, but in this case we need to find the effective length when a flat plate is connected to a gusset plate. So, this is a flat plate which is connected, connected to a gusset plate we know the design strength, but we know we do not know what is effective length here at what length we need to weld the flat with to the plate, but we are having the width of the plate and the thickness of the plate. So, let us see the what are the steps that are involved in solving this problem. So, step 1 size of the flat size of the flat that is B into T, B is nothing but breadth, breadth of the plate that is from here to here and for every plate it has its own thickness. So, B into T is a size of the plate. Step 2, tensile strength of the plate, tensile stress of the plate that is Fi Newton per mm square or Newton per meter square this will be given in the question. Step 3, design tensile strength in the plate. So, before finding design tensile strength in the plate, let us find the strength of the plate that is B into T into phi is a design is not design it is tensile strength of the plate. For this if you multiply with 1.5 for the whole equation we get design tensile strength of the plate. So, design tensile strength of the plate. Step 4 ultimate shear stress ultimate shear stress it is denoted with f sub x u it will be given in the question itself. Step 6 is or step 5 is you know design shear stress in the well design shear stress in the well that is f w d is equal to f u by 1 point root 3 into partial safety factor. The last step is step 6, last step is step 6 that is design strength is equal to 0 0.7 into size of the weld into L effective into F double D. But in this particular case, we do not know the what is the size of the weld. So, directly we can write size of the weld that is size of the weld S is equal to thickness of the flat minus 1.5 must be greater than or equal to 3 mm must be greater than or equal to 3 mm. So, we can find directly size of the well by subtracting one mi minus 1.5 with thickness of the flat. So, this is a thick for this we are having some small thickness right from that thickness if you minus 1.5 we get size of the well. So, design strength that is P d is equal to 0 0.7 into S into L effective length into F w d. So, in this particular case we need to find what is the effective length. So, effective length L effective length is equal to P d by 0 0.7 into S into F w d. This is the total effective length, total effective length. So, in order to find the single effective length directly we can find by L effective, L effective length is equal to total effective length by Two, we get the effective length of single weld. So, when a flat connected to a gusset plate as shown in the figure 
first step is size of the well or size sorry size of the flat that is b into thickness that is breadth into thickness the second step is tensile stress of the plate that is fi newton per mm square that will be given in the question itself step 3 design tensile strength in the plate that is b into t into fi the design tensile stress is equal to we have to multiply with 1.5 step 5 ultimate shear stress fu is equal to newton per mm square it will be given in the question itself step 5 design shear stress that is f sub x wd is equal to fu by under root 3 into partial safety factor you know partial safety factor for workshop is 1.25 the well disconnections are made in site means 1.50 i have to take or step 6 directly we can take size of the well is equal to size thickness of the plate minus 1.5 direct we can add here also but directly i took here so design strength is equal to 0.7 into size of the well into l effective length into design shear stress in the well so l effective total effect l effective length is equal to design strength by 0.7 into size of the well into fwd this is a total effective length of the well so in, in order to find single we must divide with 2 so l effective length is equal to total l effective length by 2 that is the length of each well which is done on other side of the on the both sides of the flat plate this is very important question for your exam this model is different from your previous model this method is completely different from your previous model now let us solve example problem 1 on flatted flat plates which are connected to a gusset plate so i design the fillet well to connect a plate of 80 mm into 8 mm to a gusset plate and the tensile stress in the plate is 150 newton per mm square and the tensile shear stress in the well is 330 newton per mm square when the connections are made in workshop so the size of the plate first let us sketch the diagram so this is the size of the plate is given as this is width is 8 mm and thickness is 8 mm so in this case we need to find the size of the well let this length be l1 from here to here this length be l2 you don't know the effective length the tensile stress f is given as how much 150 newton per mm square so what is the first step step 1 given data so what is given in the question size of the plate size of the plate is how much 80 into 8 mm tensile stress that is fi is how much 150 newton per mm square what is ultimate shear stress in the well it is denoted with fu that is 330 newton per mm square what is partial safety factor given in the question it is assumed that connections are made in workshop that is gamma is equal to 1.25 so what is the next second step step 2 step 2 size of the plate so s is equal to b into t that is 80 into 8 so 640 mm so answer is 640 mm yes it is correct step 3 tensile stress in the flat or plate is how much f i is equal to 150 newton per mm square it is given in the question step 4 we need to find design tensile stress of the plate 
sorry the design tensile strength that is 1.5 into b into t into y so 1.5 into 640 into 150 so what is the answer so 1.5 multiplied with 640 into 150 what is the answer divided by 10 power 3 so 144 kilo newtons is the design tensile strength of the plate step 5 So what is step five? Step five. Ultimate shear stress. That is how much? Three thirty newton per mm square. It is given in the question itself. Now what is step six? we have to find what we have to find in step 6 step 6 is equal to design shear stress that is fwd is equal to fu by root 3 into 1.25 so what is fu fu is nothing but it is given in the question as 330 By root three into one point five, one point two five. Why did I take partial safety factor as one point two five? Because in the question is given that the connections are assumed to be made in workshop. So three thirty divided by root three into one point two five. So one fifty two newton per mm square. that is a design strength and this is a design shear stress now we have to find l effective length based upon the formula so i will draw i'll write here i'll be writing here don't worry so design tensile strength that is pd is equal to 0.7 into size of the well into l effective into fwd fwd is nothing but ultimate shear stress that is design shear stress so this is a formula so pd is equal to 0.7 into size of the weld into l effective into fwd l effective is equal to design tensile strength by 0.7 into size of the weld into fwd but we forgot to find the size of the weld so what is the formula to find the size of the weld you know size of the weld Yes, is equal to thickness of the flat or plate minus 1.5. So, what is the thickness of the plate given in the question? I think 8. 8 minus 1.5 is equal to 6.5 mm. Approximately, for calculation purposes, it will be easy if you take 6 mm. So, size of the well, I took 6 mm. The next point is L effective length. so l effective length is equal to what is design tensile strength 144 kilo newtons so 144 into 10 power 3 by 0.7 into what is size of the well i took here 6 so 6 into fwd what is fwd 152 152 so what is the Total L effective length so 144 into 10 power 3 divided by 0.7 into 6 into 152. The total effective length is 
total effective length is 2 2 3 mm 2 2 3 mm so it is a total effective length so now we have to find single effective length that is l effective length is equal to 2 2 3 divided by 2 that is 2 2 3 divided by 2 1 1 triple 1 1.5 approximately 1 1 2 mm is a single effective length with triple 1 2 we have to do well on the both the sides of the plate in order to connect to a gusset plate so these are all the steps that are required to solve this problems is it clear